Hi everybody, it's Brett here, and I'd like to welcome you to my backyard to find some flowers with me. We're going to get inspired by a floral print by the artist Andy Warhol. What you see here is a lithograph, a kind of print. It was made by layering layers of color atop one another until the entire picture was created. In Flower from 1964, each color, yellow, orange, two different pinks, and green, was printed with a separate stamp made from the same picture that the artist created. The black layer shows the details of the picture, the leaves, stems, and centers of the flowers. The blank spaces let the color show through. Notice how Warhol includes lots of detail in the background and fewer on the flowers. Instead, he chose to make them with flat areas of color. The colors in our project will come from the flowers and plants that we gather. Find an assortment of shapes, colors, and sizes of plants and flowers for your project. When picking flowers from around your home, be sure to ask permission first. I'm going to use dandelions in my picture. Most people don't mind if you pick dandelions since they are a weed. But dandelions make great colors. Along with the plants you've collected, you'll need a white sheet of paper, a dark pencil, crayon, pastel, or marker, and a rolling pin or a spoon. Fold the piece of paper in half and arrange your flowers and plants on one side. Fold the paper back over, making sure the flowers you arranged stay in place. Using a rolling pin or back of a large spoon, start rolling or pressing the top layer of the folded paper, squishing the flowers and plants in between. Carefully open the folded paper to peek inside. If you like how it looks, you can open your folded paper and carefully brush the flowers and plants away. If you want more color, close the paper and try pressing harder on the plants. Some plants may give off more color than others. You should end up with two prints of your plants. Artists make prints so they can have more than one of the same image. Andy Warhol is known for changing the colors of his prints. There are many different versions of his flower print in many different colors. Next, add a hand-drawn layer to your print. Use a dark pencil, crayon, pastel, or marker to outline the colors recreating the original shapes of the plants. You can also use your imagination if you can't remember what each plant and flower looked like. This drawn layer will act like the final, black layer of ink in the Warhol print. You can fill in the background with other pictures, lines, or textures. Here are my two finished flower prints. One I will keep, and the other I will paste onto a card for my mom. What will you do with your flower print drawings?